Kia ora everybody, Chris Fahey here from the Baileys Insights team. I'm down here in Tauranga today with Mark Walton from the Baileys Tauranga commercial and industrial team. Kia ora Mark. Kia ora Chris, great to have you down in Tauranga today. Yeah, but thanks for um, I, I guess bringing me down here and um, letting me hang out in your office for a little while. So um, talking about the Tauranga commercial industrial markets, what's the sentiment at the moment, like how are things going? Yeah, no, interesting times. We've had a, I guess a very solid start to um, 2022. I guess in terms of what we're seeing in the market, from uh, particularly from buyers, is uh, buyers are definitely being more selective uh, around uh, the, uh, the assets or quality um, of, of the assets. Um, so yeah, definitely a flight to quality, um, you know, for buyers yeah. Uh, being yeah more selective of what they look at. Yeah, it makes sense. And is it that's driven um, by interest rates, I assume, or? Yeah, I think it's driven by yeah combination of uh, increasing interest rates and probably you know to be fair a little bit of I guess uncertainty just in the current sort of COVID um, environment that we're in. Um, you know, people are looking at the economy and, and you know what is, what does it hold for the rest of the year. So um, yeah, it's certainly um, you know interesting time in the market. Yeah, oh, su- super interesting. And and so um, jumping into a couple of the sub markets, so industrial. Um, what's the what's the vibe at the moment? Like how things going? Yeah, um, a very I, I guess the industrial market is, is still particularly strong. Yep. Uh, we're seeing um, I guess really strong interest uh, from tenants. Our uh, I guess vacancy uh, rates uh, for industrial in and around Tauranga are particularly low. Um, there's pretty much no vacancy um, available whatsoever. Um, yeah, we're still seeing a lot of I guess buyer interest um, for industrial. Uh, for industrial uh, properties, so yeah, particularly strong, um, and the land market for industrial is, is also um, land is you know particularly scarce around here, um, for for example. Um, and so we, we saw uh, like up in Auckland recently a real industrial land boom of prices, you know, effectively doubling, if, if not a bit more. Yeah. Um, is, is that the same sort of situation down here? Yes. Yeah. Very very similar. So to give you an example. Our key uh, uh, industrial land market is um, is, is Taurico, yep. Taurico Business Estate. So, probably three to four years, you are paying uh, three to four hundred a square metre. Yep. Um, today, uh, the, the square metre rates are anywhere sort of between six fifty and eight hundred dollars a square metre out at Taurico. So, yeah, we have seen a, a really rapid rise. Um, and industrial land values, and and that's if you, even if you can buy. Yeah, sites. I mean that's, that's that's the tricky thing, right? Like people talk about the increase in prices, but then it's actually just being able to buy some is not a straightforward task. Correct. It's just yeah. super scarce at the moment trying to get your hands on a industrial industrial site. Yeah, interesting. And then, um, so what what does that mean for rental rates? So if you've got parties looking for like new build warehousing. Yes. Um, we're seeing a marked increase in rental rates in that space. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think just with the rising um, land values and also construction costs, yep. uh, we are seeing quite a, I guess, a rapid rate, a rapid increase um, in terms of uh, uh, warehouse rentals, um, office rentals, and, and particularly yard yep. as well. So yeah, yeah, yard's an interesting one, right? Because that's becoming um, increasingly scarce, particularly in central locations, as sites get developed out and. Um, and some parties even having to settle for basically warehousing when they might one yard. Yes, um, yeah. So it's, it's an interesting space. Yeah. And um, moving into the office market. Yes. Um, what, what's the sentiment down here at the moment? We've had work from home, COVID, everything. Yeah. Um, how, how's the market standing up? Yeah. Um, the, I mean, the office market has been quite surprising over the last sort of um, 12 months. It's, it's remained uh, particularly strong. So. If I think about um, in terms of uh, vacancies or what, what's available, probably between that sort of two to five hundred uh, square metres, there's minimal, um, you know, minimal vacancies um, in, in the market. So, um, yeah, that, that has pushed up rentals over the last sort of um, twelve to twenty-four uh, months. So, um, yeah, it, it remains particularly, uh, particularly strong. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, and, and um, obviously some new developments in the pipeline as well, which is pretty exciting. Um, I assume that that's going to lead to a, almost like a stepwise change in like your A grade or your premium rentals down here. Yes, yeah. I uh, know it's it's super exciting in terms of uh, some of the pro- proposed um, office developments uh, um, in the Tower on a CBD. There's probably sort of four to five uh, key uh, developments anywhere between um, project costs of 
sort of 30 to 150, uh, 150 million. Um, and yeah, you're right. So historically, uh, A grade office has been sort of anywhere between sort of three to 400 a square metre. Um, but a lot of the new developments uh, that we're seeing in the market, they're going to be over $500 a square metre. So we are expecting quite a step change over the next sort of uh, two to five years in the office market. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, but, but I guess on the flip side, you've also got that flight to quality amongst tenants where they do um, want really nice quality office spaces, particularly as they shake off the work from home. So I think it's a pretty exciting time for that market. And then finally retail. Um, so what, one of the sort of harder hit sectors um, due to, during the pandemic, uh, what's the vibe in relation to retail? Yeah, no, retail, um, it, it's remaining pretty robust. So I guess suburban uh, retail or, or strip uh, specialty retail sort of out at uh, like the likes of Mount Maunganui has been particularly strong. Yep. Um, in the Tauranga CBD, uh, the you know, retail has been, you know, uh, I guess a lot slower. Um, but we are starting to see a, uh, a pick up, especially with um, new developments coming on stream. So the uh, farmers, uh, Redevelopment um, opened probably uh, four weeks ago, yep. um, and you know that that's the real catalyst for bringing people back into town. Um, so no, definitely exciting times, I guess, in, in Tauranga CBD over the mm. next sort of two to five years as that tr transition happens. Yeah, and I think it'll be interesting because you have a combo of um, COVID hopefully going away, like ASAP, <laughs> and then on top of that, you've got some really cool development projects coming through, which should really transform the the atmosphere and I think the physical environment down here. Yes, so, yeah, um, super exciting. Um, so look, with that said, we'll wrap up here. So um, thanks very much for your time, Mark. Thanks, Chris. Um, as always, if you want to learn a little bit more about what's happening in the market down here, feel totally welcome to reach out to the Mark, uh, to Mark and the crew at Bailey's and Tauranga, and they'd be super happy to, to have a chat. Definitely, look forward to it. And um, with that said, we'll finish up here. So thanks very much. Thanks, Chris. And we'll see you next time. See you, bye.